Hey, hey, hey. Hope everybody's doing good. Carl Bryan coming at you with my boy Patrick Bell. Patty baby, you there, man? <laughs> I'm here. I'm here, KB. How's it going? <laughs> going good, man. Going good. Hanging out in the Kelowna sunshine, although I'm doing the exact opposite of hanging out in the Kelowna sunshine. <laughs> and I'm been working my little ringer off since about 5.30 this morning. But hey, wow. I don't think anybody gives a crap, now do they? But that is okay. So, uh, what, actually, Pat, we better explain before we get cranking here um, about, guys, sorry about Tuesday. Had a little glip there every once in a while. Technology is wonderful when it's working. So uh, we sincerely apologize for any of you guys who showed up and then weren't able to get in because Pat and I weren't able to get in. We were, we were here, and then we weren't here, and then we were here, and then we weren't here. So we apologize, but we're, we're rocking and rolling again. So I'm ready to rock there, folks. Yeah, just maybe open up a line, make sure they're listening, or if someone's there. We gotta go. Let's go to Mark. Mark's got it. Looks like he might have a question, or he might just be saying hello. Mark, we're coming for you, buddy. Uh, you're self muted, man. Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. <clears throat> Wanna open yourself up, bud? A bunch of marks on today. There you go. Popular name. No, we do. Popular name. Okay, let's go to the next Mark. Let's do that. Mark. I said Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. So that's gonna be Mark Green. And you're self-muted as well. Mark, open us up, man, if you want to say hello, see what you're up to and what you're doing. Come on, Mark. Come on, Mark. Okay, we're going, Mark Seagal. Is that Seagal? Hang on a sec. Let's have a look here. Mark Seagal, we're coming for you. Another Marky Mark in the Funky Bunch. Yo, Mark. Yes, happening? how you doing? Doing fabulous. What's happening, my man? Um, I'm doing really good. I actually did... Um... I played around with the profit acceleration software yesterday with a client, so went really well. All right, and tell now, us now that I did it, I'm excited to learn how to do it. Yeah, good job. And what was the result? And how did the uh, how the appointment go for the first one? It, it went really well. I gave her some homework. She's excited to get going on it, and um, we're meeting again uh, next week to see where she's at with that. Coaching client, man. High five, dude. High five. That's what we like to see. Um, you should actually, um, I interviewed, um, speaking of using profit acceleration software to close clients, we, uh, Terry Levine, I just did a, a podcast with Terry Levine or an interview with Terry Levine, which became part of the podcast, um, a Ray edition of the podcast, or however the heck you word that. But anyway, so she actually talked about how she's literally 100% on closing people after using profit acceleration software. So, there you go. So high yeah. five, high five. So congrats, man. Well done. Anything else for us? Any any questions you can come up with here on the software for us? Um, when I when I listened to the the instructions originally, there was there was like a a script or a questionnaire that you go through with them, but you don't let them see the screen while you're doing that. But in the newer software, I, I didn't I didn't see where that is exactly. Where is that, Pat? Is that still, can you take us there? Well, I think uh, for all the questions, I think that's the only thing I know about is the, uh, yeah, when you're showing, you don't show your screen to your clients while you're talking to them. You just keep the screen focused towards you. <clears throat> and even if you're doing a screen share, you can still pause your screen. Pause. Yep. But yeah, I'd like to pause it on results and then just go through the questions and then show more results. So I found in the past that when you show the screen, they get distracted by, they start jumping ahead and all that. You want to really control the conversation. So that's what I would do. Yep. Okay, cool. Does that make sense to answer your question? All good? Yeah. You beauty. Okay, awesome. Good job. Okay, we're going to put you back on mute here, Mark. But yeah, good point there, um, Pat. Just make sure, guys, because like with the software, um, it's a bit like when you're you're doing a closing. Like say I've got a PowerPoint slide. Um, if I've got like, let's say there's seven elements to my close where I'm like, okay, you get this, you get this, you get this. And I rattle off seven things. If you've got all seven showing, um, you're doing yourself a great disservice to your close. What you want to do is you want to bring one up, talk about it. The second one up, talk about it. The third one up, talk about it. So that's a little bit like what Pat's saying that they'll, they'll jump ahead and start seeing the other questions and you know, oh, what's coming and what's the, you know, they, they just can't help themselves. So this is where. 
um, pausing your screen is a little bit of magic when you're doing it over the phone. And if you're doing it face to face, yeah, you've just got your, your laptop showing you and at different intervals and different points, like when you hit the hundred thousand dollar threshold, as an example, you want to turn it around and show up. So, you know, we've only gone through three sections of your business. I've got 12, we've already found you a hundred grand, but look, let's keep going. Right. So, so the pause button can be a killer for that. Yeah, you just got to practice. Yeah, just get out there and practice. And you can even practice with two computers next to you. You know, if you don't have something to practice with, put another computer up next to you. And you know, just make sure you're coming in as whatever, someone else on the other end of the, the Zoom call and start practicing back and forth. There's no reason you can't do that. So. Love it. Okay, so I tell you what, guys, if you got a question, um, otherwise going to be a short call. Um, Let's try Mark Rosenberger again. From Mark, yeah, no, he, I tried to open him up here, but he's just saying hello. Mark, I'm going to try you again. The other Marky Mark and the Funky Munch. Yourself muted, bud. Okay, he's not there. All right, there we go. So if you got a question, guys, oh. chuck it up or raise your hands. What's that? Sorry, Patrick. Mark, can you hear us now? No, I just saw. Um, anyway, we'll keep moving. We can't okay, get cool. him. Um, who am I going to? I'm going to go to Mei Chin. He's always got some action, man. Mei Chin, we're coming for you, buddy. Yo, Mei Chin. Hey, guys. How are you? The MVP Doing of well. the last call, man. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's uh, it's going great. I've got, uh, I got our chamber on board. I've got our local newspaper on board. Um, and they're willing to uh, push me out to, you know, if they need to uh, sweeten this, sweeten the pot with regards to advertising or memberships, they're pushing people to me. So I'm, I'm showing people how to uh, walk through the software. Nice. Yeah. Well, they're getting some runs on the board or what? Inspire the folks listening, man. What's going on? Well, um, I've got two that will probably uh, be on board. I've got their their closing call uh, tomorrow, as a matter of fact. So hopefully I've got two on board as a result of all this. Oh, you beauty. Good job. All right. What kind of businesses, by the way? Um, one is a photographer and the other is a um, heating and air company. Good job. Do you feel comfortable with your game plan to go and help those guys and the process was a valuable one? Yeah, it was. Um, yeah, I, I actually had a. Um, Another one that was a little bit of a challenge, uh, only because they were doing a lot of the stuff that we that, that the software shows them to do. Um, it was just a matter of they needed time for that stuff to kind of take hold. Yeah. Um, so there really wasn't a lot that I could do for them, but they they liked the process and and they're thinking of uh, you know how can they work with me to put me in front of some of their clients. And just keep in mind with that guy, though, like so that, you know, the, the guy who's got it all, because, again, Michael Jordan needed a coach. Wayne Gretzky needed a coach. Tiger Woods in his heyday. Right. So go, you know, from, you know, the, um, you know, the upsell, the downsell, the cross sell type stuff to accountability, kick in the pants, uh, bigger vision. You know what I mean? Like that kind of stuff. But I, I also do recognize that can be a harder close. But but don't think for a second you can't get that guy done. You just go in a slightly different direction. Yeah, no, you're you're absolutely right on that. I agree. And actually, maybe I think we actually maybe I think it might have been you and I that we talked about this the other day, but I think it'd be valuable for everybody else. And you got to be remember, like when I'm driving traffic on the internet, the worst converting offer is improvement, okay? And the best com converting offer is a new opportunity, quote unquote, new. So when I'm talking to them, I want to go in the direction of. You know, we're going to end up with a new website, a new sales team, new results, new tracking, new scoreboard, uh, new, uh, did I say sales team? Do you know what I mean? Like all new products, new bundling, um, new upsells. Do you know what I mean? So like you want to be using the word and, and you don't necessarily have to overuse the word new, but you want to point them in the direction that when we are done, your your business is going to be unrecognizable. Like a big one that you've got in your back pocket is that when you go to the, you know, when you go to your membership site and you see the turnkeys, you know, that we've got in, uh, you know, in 125 different categories of business, right? Well, yep. you show them a couple of the better ones, like let's say the cosmetic surgeon or what have you, 
um, you open that up and say, you know, at the end of 12 months, imagine having your marketing looking something like that. Well, in their head, they know that their marketing looks nothing like that. And the potential, you know what I mean? All of a sudden, the hamsters start to run and they think, wow, the potential here is insane. Um, so just making sure you're sending them towards new and that, that accountability is going to, you know, basically uh, create for them. That makes sense. You follow me there? Yeah, no, it, may, it makes total sense, and, and it brings up a question, because um, I, I did a presentation to a local business group, and I was sharing uh, those screenshots of the of the cosmetic surgeon, which did prompt um, a person to, to want to do a, a one-on-one where we walked them through, and their business was um, bookkeeping, and again, they're, they're in the throes of, you know, they just hired a copywriter and a, a digital media person and all of that um and it i'll probably get them as a client in some way but but what they were really looking for was somebody that could be their quarterback Mm -hmm. coordinating all these other experts because they just were kind of like overwhelmed they just want to do their bookkeeping is that something that you would suggest we step into as a coach of kind of coordinating with all the other providers or is that just a quagmire good no uh i'd go back to your skill set but let me well look i'm going to answer this maybe differently to start is that look bookkeeping that's part of the problem if they just want to do their bookkeeping that's like an accounting an accountant who just wants to do the accountants right if you go to the facebook page you might see a conversation that pat and i just had um in there in and around this but like bookkeeping like okay Here's the way I describe it, okay? Accounting is taking words and turning them into numbers, right? Yeah. And finance is taking those numbers and turning it back into words, right? You follow me? So in other words, um, taking the fact that, you know, Pat and I are a landscaping team and we've gone up and we've, you know, we've, we've done this house and we've charged 75 grand for a big job in and around the pool, right? Well, the accountant takes those words and then it's representative on my my books right so my accounting looks like xyz and there's your revenues well when you take finance you take those words and then it's like well you guys charge seventy five thousand dollars like you're now taking what did those numbers on my you know my you know on my income statement and whatnot what do those actually mean in the real world so you take the numbers and you turn them back into words now you got to take those words so let's say we have an accounts receivable problem it would be like well you're owed a hundred thousand dollars and not only you owed a hundred thousand dollars but we've broken that down and that there's these four companies that each owe you 25 grand one is 30 days old one is 60 days old one's 90 days old and the other one's 120 days old we need to go to the guy that owes you money for 120 days and we've got to either realize that money or we got to write it off take it on the chin and be done with it otherwise you're going to end up paying tax on that money that you don't because account like accounts receivable lives on your balance sheet this is where you pay your tax so if you leave it if you don't write it off you actually pay tax on that twenty five thousand dollars that you haven't been paid right so what am i getting at the bookkeeper has to help you with that process that i just described taking these numbers and turning them back into words because their clients are not in any way, shape, or form accountants or bookkeepers. You know what I mean? So in my world and in my opinion, it's almost negligent that they don't do that. Like here are your books and this is what it means. Like help them understand the small business finance component of it. You follow me? Yeah, I follow that. Um... So now they can charge significantly more for that. So I just, I believe that that is a way where you could consult them. And then the the bookkeeper will tell you, yeah, but I don't want to do that. Well, say they've got four bookkeepers that work for them. Well, hire a consultant or bring you in to help them. And now they've got 63 clients. You just got yourself a whole bunch of clients. Mm -hmm. Follow me? So, well, I, 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 an example why I don't want to just sell to, I want to sell through, right? So, yeah, you could sign up the bookkeeping client, but I think the opportunities there are just insane. Um, but and they're literally trying. It's like it's the business broker that doesn't want to do consulting, right? Like it doesn't – they get 10 phone calls, nine times they're hanging up the phone, and the one in 10 only becomes money a fraction of a percentage of the time. 
Well, Common Sense Corner says that they build a program for the nine and ten instead of the fraction of one percent. Yeah. So, they, but this takes yeah. paradigm shift. I, I, I'm hearing about the head like I. So tell me where the head. You you follow me, no doubt. But where? Well, where where I'm at is I I appreciate the sell through, not just the sell to. That's a big one. Uh, and it comes down to do I want to be that 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 person that's hurting the cats of all their their that uh, one I don't yeah I don't know that I'd want to be that one but I would want to be the one that I just described that goes yeah. through their books and helps them make sense of it and don't think for a second that, that means you got to be some sort of a you know a professional in accounting I mean these are pretty basic things you know you yeah. look at their cost of goods sold you look at their inventory the gap yeah. in between that's going to be called wastage. Yeah, you just look at it like, hang on, there's too big of a discrepancy here. We got to talk, right? Your inventory is a horrific. Um, you know, you're you're doing a horrific job of managing that. You look at their um, accounts receivable, and if it's too high, and can you know, in comparison to what their revenues look like, they got to fill the holes in the boat. Because I don't need to meet them to know that they have a problem there, and then they run Facebook ads to try solve the problem. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, just stupidity on steroids. Right, accounts payable is another huge one. They all want to. If you meet a bad business owner, they'll tell you how badly they want to pay their bills because they want to have, like, a they want to be a sweetheart, and then b they don't want to have debt. But then they don't realize when you buy something from Apple, they don't pay you for 91 days. And the reason is, from the day that they start building the the iPhone to the day that they get the money in their bank account from the iPhone is roughly 91 days. So that's why they decide most cash. You know, one of the most cash flush companies on the planet, right? With like probably a trillion dollar bank balance and they don't pay you for 91 days. Well, that's because it's smart business principle to not be, and that's not to say in any way, shape or form, you don't pay your vendors. You absolutely do, but don't be in a hurry to do it up front, and certainly don't be in a hurry to do it up front. And then that same sweetheart is the kind of person that will be terrible at their accounts receivable. So think about the gap that comes. Right. Mm -hmm. Then they tell and then you show up and they go, I've got this profitable business, but I got no money in my bank account. What the heck's going on? Well, I just explained it. Right. Yeah. And that's what you do as the consultant. You're just like, there's an accounts receivable problem. It's right here. Let's go fix it. Or sorry, I, I mean, um, there's a cash flow problem. Let's go fix it. And Facebook ads is not the way to fix it. But that's where their mind will automatically go, because, frankly, they, they have no experience. Right. So, yeah, I would be sitting I would be sitting down with the bookkeeper, maybe with a different. So I don't know that I'd want to be the quarterback for a bunch of services, but I might do that through sufferance just because I want to get the 63 clients that they've got. Yeah. Um, but what I definitely want to do is help them explain that to them again, accounting and just taking words and turning it into numbers, but then take the numbers and turn it into words. Right. Hugely. Um, hugely powerful, man. I don't know. What do you, what do you think? That makes sense. You kind of follow. Yeah, no, I, I totally follow. Um, again, it just comes down like the, the word you use suffrage. <laughs> if I, if I want to get into that game, um, so you had a budget of like four grand a month to pay somebody for that. So I guess, uh, there'd be a like way a I learning opportunity. You hire somebody for two grand, man. And boom. Yeah. You're up, yeah. you know, you're up too, but you don't know, get your foot in the door. So Yeah, no, I actually even put it up on the Facebook uh, group to see if there was anybody that could recommend like a VA that might be able to quarterback all that. And I could just flip it, flip it over to them. Um, yeah, so that's something to um, think about. And if you want, actually, just everybody listening, I might, here's a way, in fact, I'd encourage everybody who's got access to a pen right now to maybe write this down. If they kind of like what we just talked about with the bookkeepers and taking words into numbers, numbers into words. Like if you really think about the functionality of a company, you've got four things. You've got management that will live up the top, right? And then everybody take an arrow and go one step down to decisions, right? So management, make decisions. Those decisions, one step down, go to activity. So that would be three. And then the fourth one down will be numbers. Okay, so that's going to your bookkeeper. So this is how we get to the numbers that we ultimately give, um, you know, to our bookkeeper, gives them to the accountant, we end up with them. But the magic is, if you really want to crush it and you want these bookkeepers to crush it, 
there's a difference that you want to make because you want to take, like you want to put the numbers, like you go management to decisions to numbers, then to activities. Like the different numbers on those financials should lead to different activities. And those activities should be measured to see, did they improve the numbers? And then once you get the numbers in again, you make other, you know, you adjust your, so kind of picture that the three and four is activities and then numbers. So you put an arrow on the right from activities down to numbers. And then on the left-hand side, you've got numbers with an arrow act activities. So these two ro rotate around. Whereas most of them stop, and I'm talking about this client here, right? Um, you know, this, this bookkeeper, they're stopping at the numbers. And then that needs to lead to new activities. And when they can be, um, you know, the ones driving those new activities and assisting their clients with doing new activities to increase the numbers, this is where they can go from bookkeepers to, you know, like, you know, like the bookkeepers. I mean, these guys don't have a thriving business with a bookkeeping business, right? Like they charge hundreds, low thousands. And remember, consulting yep. is at a, inexpensively is a thousand dollars a month, twelve grand a year. Properly charged is two thousand dollars a month, twenty four grand a year, and then it goes up from there, right? Well, the numbers that they're currently charging are probably going to look something like twenty five hundred dollars a year, and they could be charging twenty four thousand dollars a year by adding these consulting services in. Doesn't sound like they're interested in doing it, so you become that person, to be clear, and then your job becomes to help them take the numbers to change activities and the activities to change the numbers and then going back up. Does that make sense? Yeah, you know, I'm tracking. Yeah, hey, Mason, let me chip in here. Yeah, yeah please. Um, yeah, because I, I want us to get back on track of questions on the software as well, so <laughs> we need to wrap this part up but um my take would be if you go in and, and you value yourself and you say you know, take carl's four sections where he said draw an arrow here so starting with management you say mr business owner you know my value i bring to you is strategic in the way i help you manage this business and make decisions so i see that you need a quarterback to to take on this role we need to help you find a quarterback and you know, personally, that's what I would do because I don't want to get involved in quarterbacking and doing all the details. And then you're managing, and then he sees you as a manager worth five thousand a month instead of a coach worth a thousand an hour or five hundred an hour or mm -hmm. right uh, five thousand for you know four hours a day or whatever it is four hours a week. So I just make sure you look into how you're positioning yourself because once you lower yourself to that of a manager who's yeah. doing grunt work for an employee, that's um, where you're gonna start selling to, and you don't you wanna avoid that at all costs. Yeah, good point. Got it. Thanks, guys. Hey, Jim, there you go, bud. Let us know how you go, man. Cool? Mm -hmm. Will do. Good, good luck on your closes there tomorrow, bud. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Okay, Mark, um, Mark was there, he had a question again, and is he gone? Uh, I guess he's gone, okay. There you go. Anybody got a question? Otherwise, we'll open somebody up and surprise them. Maybe we'll go to my local boy. Let's have a look here. We'll go to Valerie. There we go. Valerie Shepard, we're coming for you. Are you self-muted? You're self-muted, Valerie. You got to unmute yourself if you want to chat to us. Come on. We're getting, we're starting to feel like, uh, you know. You know, maybe as I'm waiting, Carl, can I show something as we're waiting for? Oh, there oh, she is. Oh, please do. Oh, there we yeah, go. Valerie. After Valerie. Hi there. Hey, hey, hey how's it going, Valerie? How are you? Fabulous. Tell us, can we help you in any way? Do you got any pressing question? Um, I don't think so. So I did my first coach. I did my first um, meeting with a, a, a client yesterday where we did the a um, jump start in the software and uh <laughs> it was pretty cool and uh she's a, doesn't consider herself an accountant but she's like between bookkeeper accountant financial manager she does financial planning with a bunch of businesses so the the arrangement that we have is that um she's a good friend of mine we're in a mastermind together and uh, she started a new um magazine business and so I said, well, it, I could to help me get up to speed with 
uh, what I'm now doing with the coaching, would you be a client and you just pay me on a contingency basis? And so I've been going through my steps to practice with her. And as I'm doing it, she's also a JV partner. So she's learning, oh, I see what you do with this strategy session and what you do with a, um, so, um, so far everything looks really good and um, a giant um, thing in the software yet. And I'm excited about the new 100K thing. Um, but so everything for me right now feels like drinking through two or three fire roses at once. So I'm not even sure what my questions are. Um, okay. Sounds like you're doing you, good though. Cool. What kind of magazine? Yeah. Uh, her magazine's called Good Fat Life, so she's she's turning it in. It's like a, it started out as just a keto thing, and it's now turning into a lifestyle brand. So she has a podcast, she has the magazine, she's affiliated with a friend who has a business which is to make these like keto bombs. They're called Good Fat Bars, and yeah. so there's a a lot there, and she's on the front end of it. So like last year. Um, I think gross revenue was 14,000 profit was like $2,000. And so there's nothing but upside here. So I'm um, looking at all the ways that I can bring that to life for her. Awesome. Good and I think job. Well, what's that? Two different targets, right? We've got a, we've got a subscription goal. Um, but then we've got this huge upside on the advertiser side and attracting advertisers. Yep. I love it. I love it. I love it. So is she the right? Do you, you feel like she's legit going to, um, you know, is she going to go from 14 to 140 to 1.4 million? Is that the, the sense that you get? Yeah. I, I don't have any question about that. Yesterday when we were talking about goals, um, and I said, so where do you see yourself in five years? We landed on 5 million. So, She's definitely wants this to be um, something big, and she's really passionate about it. And she, it, it, it gets down to kind of a like she let me in on a secret. I like she made it a commitment to her ancestors. This is like this is something that she's doing from a heart space, not a logic and looks like a good business idea. She's doing it from a a really big why. High five! I love it. Is she selling subscriptions? she's doing um she's got a sales team so she's got two or three people who are uh selling uh subscriptions and advertising yep. love it, love it. one of the things she, she might want to do is go to like um a large charity and then donate um x like you know a thousand subscriptions as an example and then let's say that the script subscription is a hundred dollars sake of the argument um, you donate those to the nonprofit. The nonprofit has got huge sales teams that are calling up for breast cancer and everything else. So then there's, they sell the subscriptions. So she gets the user base, right? So, so she'll get the subscribers and the readership, which is what advertisers are looking for. And it'll significantly help her sell advertising. FYI, it'd be a great strategy. Okay. Then the, that, that sounds like a cool idea. The only dynamic that we have to manage with that is, um, paying like her biggest cost right now is printing and distribution. Yep. So managing the cash flows so that that stuff is taken care of. Yeah, but so but I love the idea. The you gotta ramp up the advertising as the only solution, right? Right. So yeah. But that's that's where it comes back. Yeah, ahead to of the gotta be you got to be able to finance growth, but yeah. So, so help her manage that, but that can be a great way to get um, subscriptions sold. So FYI, cool bananas. Cool. Okay. So I like it, Valerie. High five. You sound like a mover and a shaker. That's what we want to see. So next week when we see you here, let's hear some feedback. <laughs> sound good? Yes. Thank you very much. Welcome. I'm going to put you back on. The okay. There we go. Who else do we go? Let's go to Brett. We're going to go towards the top here. Brett, you're self-muted. Everybody's self-muted today. What's going on? Yo, Brett, you want to say hello? Open us up. Come on, Pat's getting lonely. Get sick of talking to me all the time. Very lonely. Come on, Brett. What's that? Very lonely. <laughs> yeah, you're very lonely. Yeah, you sound very lonely. 
Was that a life? Was that life or was that life or wife when Valerie's talking? <laughs> that sure. product. Oh, uh, I think it was life, wasn't it? Anyway, oh, okay, life. good. Cool. Okay, Dave McKenzie, my fellow Canuck here. Let's <clears> go to him. You're self muted too, man. Everybody's self muted. There we go. Dave, hey, how you doing? Doing? doing fabulous. What's going on? Well, I just uh, uh, had a good week, but I was really impressed with the call with Terry today. Oh yeah. Oh cool. Yeah, you like that? That's yeah, really like that. And uh, and using the PAS now. On that, would you? You're charging a hundred dollars, so I'm sure you're going to do the fast start. Uh, Probably jump start. Yep. Yeah, a quick start. Uh, so you're going to do the whole thing, or you're just going to find them the ten thousand and then charge them for the rest? No, oh, it's you know, it's a way to close the twelve to twenty four thousand dollar clients. You're just charging yeah, okay. them. Okay. Charging them a hundred bucks up front to show that they're serious. That's all. She's yeah. Doing. Right. But I guess what I'm saying, when you do that, do you do the, the all twelve points? The whole, no, it's the same deal. You're going to find them once you find them. Um, you know, part of the hundred bucks is we're going to find you X. You know, I can't remember what she yeah. was saying. Is a twenty five, fifty, seventy five, a hundred? Just get to the point. But as you know from doing it, you go through yeah. three or four sections and you'll get there anyways. Yeah. So, um, so you do, do as many as required, right? But at the end of the day is to close them into, uh, you know, 12, 24, 36. Hours. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, yeah. And I love the idea that she had of just focusing on that, like just sell PASs and go from there. Cause I've been kind of jumping all over and that's, I know not a good thing. Yeah. Just get really, so just for everybody that's listening, this is the interview I did with um, Terry Levine. Um, you might have seen it in the Facebook group where some folks were fired up about listening to it. So it's the podcast. It's the most recent podcast. I don't know what the number is, uh, but you can 64, go check it out. 64, I think. What is it? 64. 64. There you go. So um, basically what she was saying is she's just really, really dialed in that all she does, you know, she's driving traffic. She's doing social media. She's advertising. Everything she's doing leads people um, to a meeting with the profit acceleration software just leads to a consultation. No, you know, reports and webinar, you know, or whatever, Every, everything that she's doing is driving them to exactly towards that. So she just found that channeling everything, just picture a funnel, just everything going in one direction, uh, made her life significantly easier. Um, and of course she gets insanely good at it. And as you heard, her conversions are, her conversions are literally a hundred percent, I believe she says, right? So yeah, so there you go. Cool. But anyway, now, yeah, I'm glad you like that, man. That's good. Yeah, exactly. So uh, now kind of a, a question for you, Pat. I know you and Adrian talked a little bit on last night's call. What, where do you think we are on dates for the, uh, the new 100K and 45s with the use of the old 100K and the or old 10K and the uh, PAS? That's really hard to say. Probably two or three weeks. Two or three I can't weeks. commit okay. to that. So, yeah. So within, so within the the month and that. So yeah. Okay, Let's cool. just say uh, by the end of August, I hope we have it up there and maybe sooner. So. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Uh -huh. So now the other part, the other website, like as I know, I talked to Chris and Adrian. They said there was going to be a sales training program as part of the of the new, uh, you know, the the learning system we use. Is how far away were we on that? So it's by end of year type of thing or? Uh, it's financial. It's not sales. That I'm sure there will be sales training, but there's going to be financial training. So that oh, okay. you know, understanding, you know, profit loss, balance sheet, cash flow. Oh, okay. Okay. They work okay. together for the average business owner, not high level stuff, but dummy okay. stuff. You can go to the, right. the local okay, guys cool. and help them. Cool. Um, so that that's going to be on there. I mean, that should be, we, we've already seen it. Um, just with, you can imagine there's a little, oh, I know, I know, parts yeah. here, uh, but it's already done. It's just a matter of just, it, it's 80, 20, yeah. 95, five. So it should be live right. any super soon. We should be doing an ask the expert call where yeah. you then have access to it. Yeah. So, okay. Coming. Cool. Cool. Kill awesome. Buddy. awesome. Okay. Man. Thanks. Thanks, yeah. man. You bet. Put you back on mute. Who are we going to go to? We'll do a couple more, and this might end up being a quicker call. Yeah, you know, Carl, as you're waiting there, I'm going to show. Uh, yeah, please do. I want to show a a web page that our buddy Martin Howie developed. Oh, yeah. There you go. And you can see the 
the URL at the top, realbusinessconsultants.com forward slash 60K. Martin gave us permission to look at this. And I think it's just, uh, what is it, like 18, 20 minute video. Let's have a look here, 18 and a half minute video. And he walks people through. I think he's really going to coaches for this, but he actually helps people walk through and understand how uh, you can close a client. And it's really, really, really smart. So um, if you get the chance, just go to this webpage, realbusinessconsultants.com forward slash 60K and watch how Martin positions himself as a coach and then how he closes a client at the end. And man, I was taking notes on this myself and I thought, man, I've been around the software for a long time and I'm still learning stuff every day. So thanks to people like Martin and of course the others who are just chipping in all the time saying, hey, try this and try this. So that's a great resource there. Yeah, that's great. And anybody who just can't see their screen, it's just real business consultants with an S dot com forward slash 60, as in the number 60, and then a K. So 60K, real business consultants dot com forward slash 60K. And yeah, you'll see it. And yeah, agreed, Pat. It's uh, insanely clever. Martin so, is a mover and a shaker, folks. Now, Think about this as well. I don't know if he's got this up in a ClickFunnels account or something. It's a landing page he's using. So, but Martin says, "Hey, I just recorded this in one pass, and I put it up there." And he says, "I'm already getting action on this." So, I mean, this is just an idea of like record yourself, maybe edit it if you have to. Just get it out there, get it done, put it up there, start driving traffic towards it, and start seeing results. So, this is not something you have to script out for the next two weeks. You yeah, know, plunk just, it on your Facebook page, plunk it on yeah. your Instagram, plunk it on your Twitter yep. feed, on your LinkedIn. Just take Instagram. action. Take action. Yeah, high five, man. I agree. And it is really good. You should should all go and listen to it because Martin, again, he's a heavyweight. Um, so go check it out for sure. There you yep. Go. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right. Okay. Do we have, so anybody else, tell you what, we're going to open up one more and then Pat, we might be able to go have some early lunch dude or late lunch. early lunch yeah was it, what time is it I'm taking my daughter okay. out for her birthday so Why are you oh yeah. i told her you know she's 23 but i said just round up to 25 and if you get there you're pr practically 30 so <laughs> <laughs> move her out of the house soon man you never know <laughs> all right cool man okay mark siegel's got a question you're live how you doing mark i'm doing good i just uh what you were talking about brought up a quick question. Um, when doing a new assessment, I, I can't open it up right now for some reason, but when you're doing a new assessment, there's two choices of the type of assessment. Yeah. Um, the first one seemed like a quicker one, and then the other one was like a... Yep. yep. I don't know where I saw that. Yes. Yeah, the profit jump start or the breakthrough 40. Mm -hmm. So I. I think I just went with the first one and did the profit jump start. What's what's the difference between that and the breakthrough 40 and what's what's when do you use which? So profit jump start is used for closing a sale. You've just got a few quick hit questions in 12 areas and you close them as a client. Uh, once you've got them as a client, you want to do the breakthrough 40. You've got a deep dive over 40 different areas. It's going to take you several hours. You want to make sure you get paid for that. And um, I think you can go to, no, uh, this one here, no results hyphen no fee dot com forward slash software. And the training on all that is here. So you got first time users training path. Uh, here, right here, this first video creating a new company profile and assessment. It'll be, it'll explain it in there. I think there's a whole video by itself on the Breakthrough 40 assessment, so you can watch those. Okay, cool. Yep. Yeah, because the, the client I did yesterday, she was an existing client. So what I'm, what I'm looking to do is I, I've been doing coaching for a long time, but what I do is more like a breakthrough session for them on a personal level, even though they're business owners, and part of their vision, obviously, is is – centered around their their business but then when they're done with that program i had no 
continuation program other than accountability. Mm. So that's that's what I love about this is like now there's there's step by step that I can take them through to actually grow their business. Exactly. Yep. So the one that I did yesterday, I did the you know the quick assessment one and then kind of sold her on it. And really the homework that we came up with was pretty profound for her to come up with her ideal avatar and and the the compelling message that she's going to put out for them, you know, her, her market dominating position with them. Good. So she was very excited. And, and just in doing that, that first part was really all we got through. And, you know, she was doing this kind of part time, but now with, with the virus, she's stuck home, she's unemployed and she's got a full time opportunity to grow her business now hmm. um, with some money in the bank from unemployment and whatnot. So, so she wants to really move ahead and just in a really short period of time found her an additional 12 grand in profit where she was having three grand in profit before. So it upped it from three to 15. And what that got her excited about was, wow, if I actually like do this business full time, I could make that like four or 500, you know? Yeah, that's good. Well, well done. That's great. Uh, yeah, just go through the training and um, just get to know the software inside and out. And um, the more you get to know it, the more you practice with it, the more of an expert you'll become with it. And I mean, you'll be like Terry Levine. She's closing a hundred percent of her, of her clients. The last person I heard told me that was like four years ago. So this is good news that, I mean, Terry's taking it to a whole new level and closing a hundred percent. So we all need to get there. We can all improve. Good They're job, cool. Mark. High five, Thank man. You. Anything else for you? Um, no, I'm good for now. This this has got me pretty excited though to to use it more, you know. So you know, good. No, not, nothing gets you excited about results more than results, right? Yeah. There high you go. Five. I agree. Good stuff. Okay, cool. I'm gonna put you back on mute. We'll get another question. Dave's got a question. Dave, you're live, buddy. Yeah. On last night's call, um, uh, Wally mentioned that he had uh, he directed his people to a squeeze page. Is there any examples of squeeze pages for a uh, uh, LPW uh, uh, customer? That, that, um, you know? The answer to your question, see, I look. If you listen to you, just we mentioned uh, the interview I did with Terry. Like what she's doing, what, you heard how she. I can't remember what it was, but she's she's got like a hundred thousand dollars of coaching clients during the pandemic, right? Right. Um, she predominantly goes to dentists, by the way. Yeah. She goes to a bunch of different folks, but she has a lot of dentists. Um. So what she's promoting is actually the grant, and if you actually look in the Facebook. Yeah, I did. I did read that part about it too. Yeah, and then I actually forwarded something like that. Kevin Hargraves, um, he put up on his uh, Facebook page where I was like, look, super clever. So when you really think about it, remember, you want to enter the conversation going on inside their head. Um, and a $5,000 grant is going to get a little bit of attention. So that's the right. direction I'd like for the, for right now, this is the way that I would be going for sure. Okay. So there's right no, there. go, go into coaches marketing center and it's all there, including the press release and everything else. Yeah, no, no, I seen that now in the coaches marketing center, it talks about doing the 5,000 as a, giving the uh, uh, e-learning center a way that the grant is they're not paying any money for that and you're hoping them get it i like her template a lot better yeah there's look, a variety of different ways yeah bottom line right but yeah. you know make it i don't like giving anything so. away <laughs> <laughs> well done you're a good canadian there you go yeah, exactly you must be over there with justin trudeau it is no <laughs> it's giving too much away good night yeah, exactly. yeah, exactly. Whoa! <laughs> the cheap sheets, the cheap sheets. Yeah, oh, exactly. God. Yeah, uh, Theo Fleury no. said that that we told him that they don't pay their speakers, so he did a speaking engagement for free. Yet uh, Maggie got a quarter of a million dollars. So there you go. <laughs> so. All right, I love it. Pat's got okay. the comment for tonight. Okay, awesome, Dave. Thanks, buddy. I'm gonna put you back on mute. And um, okay, so I think we're good here, Pat. What do you think, man? If anybody's got another question, 
Um, otherwise, I'll tell you what, guys. Yeah, just some uh, reminders. Then you get the training at noresults-nofee.com forward slash software. You can request the software if you haven't got it yet on this page at pas-request. And you can go back and listen to these recordings. Um, what we're trying to do is um, also put timestamps on them and uh, so you can just go right to the questions that you want to see answered and you don't have to waste your time going through a whole hour when you only need like 30 seconds of information. So I will try and get that posted soon and we'll do our best to get that. So. Okay, buddy. Well, I think that's it. One more scoop through the board. We're all good. Well, folks, we appreciate it. Again, we will be seeing you. When are we going to see you? Next Tuesday. So Tuesday. Be there or be square. And uh, appreciate you guys. Appreciate you, Pat. And let's. Uh, that's it. For and likewise. Thank all right. So see you guys. Bye bye.